Tyler Pasher, the Canadian-born wing back, gets up into the attack. Pasher. <laughs> Everyone's starting to get to know each other now. It's been taking games, more trainings, you know, everyone's new to each other. It's learning how each other's styles and where they move, what, what things they like to do on the pitch, what things they don't like. And, and I think once we start really getting in the groove of knowing what each other like, we're going to be a very, very dangerous team. It's a very Amish horse and buggy town. So you can drive a minute and be through my town. So it's very, very, very small. We have a population of, well, it's starting to grow when I was, when I was around, when I was young, we maybe had a population of 5,000 and now we're up to, I think, 15,000. So we're slowly starting to grow, but it's a very small country, hick town in the middle of nowhere. Well, there was a couple, actually NHL players that came out of Elmira. Um, like Dan Schneider's one of them, um, Dennis Weidman plays for Calgary Flames. Um, not, it's really, yeah, it's really hockey, baseball oriented town. We have a couple soccer fields and as it is, as soccer's growing, soccer's starting to grow in the town as well. Well, I played a lot of like street hockey because that's all everyone ever did. And it's just the typical recess kids out playing soccer because that was the only thing we had a ball we could do. Right? So that's mainly how I got into it. And just going into the young Timbits, as I used to call it, running around in the pack of young kids soccer games, you know, when you're four or five years old. Then just from there, couldn't even really tell you. I can remember. Well, I got <clears throat> introduced to Eddie by a coach from my area and he was the one that pretty much taught me everything I know to the game today so I went started going to him when I was seven and I was training with David when I was seven so I was up training with 15 16 year old kids on a day-to-day -day basis and just getting better and better and better and one day he asked me if I wanted to go over there and just try and train with um, the academy over in England in Newcastle sorry so I was like yeah and I gave it a go and went from there I was nine. Um, I went with Eddie and his son and another boy. And pretty much we stayed in a little bed and breakfast. You know what it's like in England. You've got tons of bed and breakfast everywhere. And went back and forth every day and trained with the academy at night. And went back, stayed, and pretty much did that for the whole two weeks I was there for my first time. I'd go over every March break. In Canada, March break, it's a two-week break. And in the summertime for two months. So from the ages of 9 to 13, I was with just the academy team. So I trained just at nighttime. And then from 14 to 16, I was with the full-time pros, like the reserves. And we were trained every morning, doubles and whatnot in the summertime since it was their preseason. And I got to train with the likes of um, Niall Ranger, um, Andy Carroll, um, Sammy Amiobi. And Shane Ferguson, Irish guy, a lot of a lot of big time pros. Now I got the opportunity to train with. Yeah, due to the circumstances of not being a European citizen and working on getting a, a visa, it's, it was such a hassle. And then with injuries and being away, sick from home and. All those factors kind of came into play. And then the fact that the academy in Toronto started up and I was just like, hey, it's an hour and a half away from home. I'd rather just be there and see what it's like and try and make the jump from there. I started off literally every single day we'd have to be in. And game days on your Fridays, of course. And the weekends off, I was bus from my town to the local Greyhound station, Greyhound to Toronto. 
and then subway out to the field, and then another bus to the field, and then walk a mile and a half to the field. I was looking at around three and a half or four hours of travel just there every day, <clears throat> and then that home. So I'd leave, we'd have training at four, I'd leave at around 11.30, and I'd get back around 11.30, 12 every day. Well, me and another player were kind of uh, the ones that were making the jump already to the first team, training every single day with them. And we really had no idea that we were going to get the opportunity to go up and play. We just both randomly got a phone call. Here, you're going to be on the bench to play, possibly come on in the second half against Liverpool. Just one of the exhibition games. So I was like, oh, okay. Excited as can be. Didn't really think much of it. And then... Um, yeah, pretty much we went to the, the stadium. It was at uh, the Rogers Center, which is the Sky Dome, where the Blue Jays play. Went, we had our pregame there, and the fact that we were in the stadium, wow, the stadium was going to be full. It was kind of, kind of got a bit anxious and jittery, right? And next day came, and we had a packed stadium around 40,000 people. And sitting on the bench, I actually came in on, at the 23rd minute. And it was quite the experience. Well, there was a couple American players on the team as well. And I lived with them. And they were great guys. Got along really well with them. Everyone could speak English. Almost fluently. So that was also a bonus. And it was, a, it was in the Arctic Circle. So we'd have that 24-hour darkness and that 24-hour sunlight. So that was quite, quite the experience, I'll tell you that. And it was, just was not easy living in, that's for sure. I think the city's gorgeous. Um, it's definitely a place I like, and I wasn't expecting to like it this much when I first came. Just the people, um, again, the view you have from the stadium, game days, game nights, and just... It's kind of quaint in a way, you know, it's nice. And the, the amount of sports that go on in here, you can go watch a Pirates game, then jump to a Steelers game, or if the Pens are still playing, like, it's awesome. Just to keep improving and keep developing and uh, get as many clean sheets and as many assists or goals, those are bonuses as possible, and help my team win a championship. That's the only thing to be thinking about, right? Get into playoffs and win the championship.